have you know that your so-called pets were found spinning webs in your mother's shoes this morning? This is ludicrous. I am putting my foot down quite literally on anything I see with eight legs. <laughs> What in Merlin's name were you thinking, using the family owl to deliver that pitiful attempt at a poem to Beau Battens? Do you realize what kind of reputational damage you've caused? For Merlin's sake, even the owl looked ashamed. Your school years are meant for studying, not long distance dalliances. Get a hold of yourself. <laughs> Transfiguration? No child of mine should receive less than outstanding. What are you even doing in that class? Or is it that sniveling teacher of yours? Well, you can be sure I will be having words with that so-called school. You will receive an outstanding one way or another. Need I remind you that you are studying at Hogwarts and not the Three Broomsticks? You'll never become an aura at this rate. So get your head out of your butterbeer and into a blasted wizarding book, for Merlin's sake. All those new expensive school books we bought you, and you leave them on platform nine and three quarters? You are damn lucky that the station guard found them first. I'm sending a remember all in the post. Bye, Merlin. Don't lose that too. <laughs> It took us three days to find your brother, and your mother almost squashed him first. You know how much she hates dung beetles. Ah, but I bet that's why you did it, eh? Well, let's see how much you like being turned into an insect next time you test my temper. Hexing a teacher. A teacher. You're lucky they don't expel you. If you don't get your act together, I shall fly straight to Hogwarts and snap your wand in half myself. Smuggling spiders into school? I jolly well hope it was worth the months of detentions you earned yourself. Do yourself a favor and get a real pet, a cat or a toad or just something normal, for Merlin's sake. And another, yes, another inflating charm. How many times do I have to tell you not to use it on other people? You've let me down, and you've let yourself down. But nobody can let Mrs. Doraway down, and it's all your fault. What do you mean you won't be coming home for the holidays? Darling Aunt Philomena has come all the way from Guernsey. Well, the joke is on you, because now you won't be getting any of her goose and gooseberry pie. Why, when I go to Gringotts, do I get some snivelling wizard telling me you frittered away half our fortune on the sweets trolley? Are you trying to bankrupt us? Put it on my mother's account, you say. Well, no more. I am cutting you off. Uh -huh. Let there be no misgivings here. I always knew you were a troublemaker, but a thief? A thief who would steal from their own father, no less. How could you? How could you? I have no more words. Only my disappointment. You are no child of mine. You misbehaving little toad. Your father and I did not raise you to cheat in exams. An enchanted quill indeed. And in your newts, we are disgraced. You miserable lout! Your sister has been in St. Mungo's for three days, and she's still vomiting slugs! If you ever point your wand at your family again, mark my words, you will lose that wand! You scoundrel! I do not pay for all your school things to be rewarded with a house full of hexes! Your father's in St. Mungo's to get his horns removed, and it's taken the house elf a week to unstick that screaming portrait. A week! You will behave, or so help me Merlin, I will bring you straight back home. How could you? You would not earn 
only lied to me about your house, but you have made a fool of me in front of our friends and neighbors. Oh yes, it seems they knew you will march to Professor Black's office this instant and demand to be resorted. No child of mine is ever going to wear those colors, ever. <laughs> Foolish child. Do you have any idea how many muggles the Ministry had to obliviate to cover up your actions? You could have been killed! You could have exposed us all! If I lose my job, it will be you to blame! It's Herbology homework, you say? Well, your homework just rampaged through the greenhouse and ate all of the Alehotsi plants. Your mother is devastated. No more homework that isn't written in a book, do you hear me? No more! <laughs> Can you explain why I have received a letter from a muggle claiming to be the mother of a friend of yours asking me to afternoon tea? What did I tell you about making friends with muggle-borns? I am highly affronted. You will not associate with this friend anymore. And if I hear from this woman again, I will see to it myself that you don't! How many times must I tell you? We are a Chudley Cannons family! We do not support Puddlemere United! If I find one more of their mementos on your wall, you'll be on the first train home to take it down! The Forbidden Forest? Are you trying to get yourself killed? Do you have any clue what kind of creatures live in there? You're lucky to be alive, but by God, when you come back, you'll wish you weren't. <laughs> Little Vandal, do you know how much distress you cause? Portraits have feelings too! It's taken hours to demustache your Aunt Mildred! Oh, Merlin's blight child! Anyone would think you were half your age! Now grow up! What in Merlin's name were you doing in the restricted section? What did you think you'd find there? Answers to your exams? If I discover even a trace of dark magic, I'll take you straight out of school, and that is a promise. Do you even comprehend how expensive that broom was? Breaking your own belongings is one thing, but that broom belonged to your sister, and I'll have you know that she is beside herself. Never mind that you could have died. No more broom racing for you, and I'd better not hear one more peep. Good day! What's this I hear about rule breaking? You're at school to learn, not to frolic around like a, like a, well, like a muggle. Learn to behave yourself or it will be worse than howlers for you. What did you think you were doing? That owl has been in our family for 30 years. And you thought it would be clever to transfigure her into, into a goblet? and leave her in the Great Hall after a feast. I hear the elves have had to transfigure every goblet in the castle looking for her. I hope you're jolly well proud. May I remind you that I did not raise you to break school rules and run around the castle after curfew? Have you any idea what sort of trouble you might get yourself into? You're lucky I don't come up there myself! this! Today, I received a letter thanking me for a conversation I never had and a purchase I never made! If I discover that you have been using Polyjuice Potion again, I shall write to the Headmaster and ask him to expel you! Mark my words! Another detention! Another! And at your age! I thought you'd grown out of it, but I suppose that was wishful thinking. It's your father's fault, believe me. We are going to have a serious talk when you get home, and you will not enjoy it! <laughs> Late on your homework, not once, not even twice, but thrice now, thrice! Do you intend to study, or do you plan to remain a nuisance forever? Get yourself to a library, and get your head down! <laughs> Why is it that whenever 
I hear from Hogwarts, it's to tell me my child has broken school rules again. I'd like to learn that you're receiving good grades, but no, what did I ever do to deserve this? <laughs> you are ungrateful, ungraceful, and frankly, unacademic. I am ashamed. <laughs> you idiot! Lolly has served our family for five generations, and you go and give her clothes? Now I will have to cook and clean until we can replace her with another elf. Did you think of that? Or do you hate your mother that much? <laughs>